Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Introduction. Hello and welcome to lesson five of CISSP certification course by Simply Learn. This lesson is about telecommunications and network security. Telecommunications and network security is one of the ten domains of the common body of knowledge, CBK, for the CISSP certification exam. The telecommunications and network security domain includes the structures, transmission methods, transport formats, and security measures that provide confidentiality, integrity, availability, and authentication for transmissions over private and public communications network and media. This domain is the information security domain that is concerned with protecting data, voice, and video communications and ensuring 1. Confidentiality, which is making sure that only those who are supposed to access the data can access it. Confidentiality is the opposite of disclosure. 2. Integrity, which is making sure that the data has not been changed by accident or malice. Integrity is the opposite of alteration. 3. Availability, which is making sure that the data is accessible when and where it is needed. Availability is the opposite of destruction. The telecommunications security domain of information security is also concerned with the prevention and detection of the misuse or abuse of systems, which poses a threat to the tenants of confidentiality, integrity and availability, CIA. Agenda. The agenda for this lesson is as follows. We start with the understanding of objectives set by ISC2 for this domain. This will be followed by understanding the concept of secure network architecture and design. Networking components are discussed next with the emphasis on its security. Securing communication channels will be discussed next. Finally, we will discuss some of the major attacks on the network and its countermeasures. Objectives. According to the ISC2 Candidate Information Bulletin, a CISSP candidate is expected to demonstrate an understanding of communications and network security as it relates to data communications in local area networks, LANs, and wide area networks, WANs, remote access, internet, intranet, and extranet configurations, use of firewalls, network equipment, and protocols such as TCP, IP, VPN, and techniques for preventing and detecting network-based attacks. Secure network